So in today's video, we're going to talk about the fastest way to hide extra edges in your model so you can take models that look like this and make them look like this. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so this is a model I downloaded from the 3D Warehouse. It actually doesn't come out of the warehouse with all this geometry showing up, but I made it so that it does. There's a ton of models in the warehouse that do show up like this. But you can see how basically what this is doing, if I was to jump over into monochrome mode, is it's basically showing all of the geometry that makes up the faces. So it's showing all the geometry that makes up the corners as well as the geometry that makes up the cushions. We don't necessarily want that. We want all of that geometry to be hidden so that we have the object and the textures, but we don't have all the extra edges. And so what we need to do is we need to double click into the sofa right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a tool that's built into SketchUp specifically for this called the Soften Edges tool. So I'm gonna minimize everything in my tray except the Soften Edges tool right here. Notice how if you don't see this in your tray, you go to Window, Default Tray, Soften Edges. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us a slider for our object that we can click and drag in order to hide geometry on our surfaces. So if I click and drag right here, notice what this is doing is this is going through and it's hiding the geometry on those faces. And you might see it better if I switch over to monochrome mode. But if I come in here and drag this, notice how most of that geometry is getting hidden. Now, one thing to note about that, if I was to come in here and triple click, notice how the edges are still in there right? Because they make up the surface. So they can't go away because then you wouldn't have a surface. But what they're doing is they're being hidden inside of your model. So notice how some of these, however, didn't go away. Well, if we were to select this object, notice how in addition to this little slider that we can use in order to hide those edges, we can also check on the box for soften coplanar. What that's going to do is that's going to go find all of the edges in here that are coplanar and it's going to soften those so that you can't see them either. And so let's say that we wanted to do this entire sofa at once though, right? Instead of doing these individually, well, all we would have to do is I'm just gonna double click in here and then I'm just gonna do a control A to select all of these objects. Well, then I can just check the box for soften coplanar and I can drag this to the right until all of those edges are softened. So you can use this in order to quickly get rid of all the extra edges inside of your model, just like this. All right, so if you want to learn more about this, on this page, I'm going to link to my ultimate guide to soften and smooth edges in SketchUp. So basically what this video is, it talks through exactly how all of this works in a lot more detail. But if you're just looking for a quick fix, the soften edges tool is a great place to go. One other thing, if you do want to learn SketchUp more in depth, then um, you can check out the SketchUp Essentials course. I will link to that on this page. That's my start to finish course where I teach you the fundamentals of modeling in SketchUp. So if you want to check that out, I'd love to see you there. If you want to learn more about soften and smooth edges video on this page as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys